Hi, this is Kim Adamski, HIV Prevention Specialist at the Hartford Gay and Lesbian Health Collective. Welcome back and thanks for tuning in. It's been a while since I've given you a history lesson, huh? Now, <laughs> don't groan. I promise it'll be interesting. Today, I'm going to talk about the history of the LGBTQ movement. I'll highlight some important milestones from American Experience on PBS. Good show, by the way. Check it out. Did you know that the very first LGBTQ organization formed in 1924? The Society for Human Rights was formed in Chicago and distributed the first American publication for gay folks. Unfortunately, it faced a lot of political backlash and it quickly disbanded. It wasn't until 1950 that the first long-lasting gay rights organization was formed, the Mattachine Society. Unfortunately, shortly after, the U.S. experienced a major setback in gay rights, a covert investigation on the sexual orientation of Congress members. Homosexuality was considered a mental illness and homosexuals were deemed a security risk. As a result, hundreds of government employees lost their jobs and over 4,000 gay folks were discharged from the military. By 1953, gay people were officially banned from working in the government. Almost 10 years later, things slowly began to turn around. In 1962, Illinois became the first state to repeal laws against homosexuality. By 1969, the gay rights movement was on a roll after the Stonewall riots brought national attention to it. By the way, we do have a video about the Stonewall riots that we posted in June, so go ahead and check that out. So after that, in 1973, the American Psychiatric Association officially removed homosexuality from their recognized mental disorders. And in 1974, Kathy Kozachenko became the first openly gay person to be elected to a U.S. public office. In the 1980s came another major setback, the AIDS crisis. Not only did this kill gay men all over the world, not to mention drug users, victims of rape, straight people, and more, but it really affected public opinion of the LGBTQ community negatively. Since then, many effective treatments have been developed for HIV, but it's still heavily stigmatized. Did you know that until 2003, when the federal courts ruled anti-homosexuality laws unconstitutional, you could actually be jailed or even labeled a sex offender for consensual same-sex activities. Lawrence versus Texas resulted in a ruling that reversed all state laws against sodomy. Soon after, in 2004, Massachusetts became the first state to legalize gay marriage. 2015 saw the federal legalization of same-sex marriage. And this year we saw the Supreme Court rule that added sexual orientation and gender identity to the list of categories protected against workplace discrimination. A lot has happened in the past century in the world of LGBTQ rights, but there's still a lot to be done, isn't there? Parental rights, social services, inclusion in religious communities, but don't get discouraged. Make it your business to educate others and work towards making the U.S. a better place for LGBTQ people to live. Did you know you can volunteer at the Hartford Gay and Lesbian Health Collective? We haven't had volunteers for a while due to the pandemic, but we are starting to plan on how to bring our volunteers back in. If you're interested or have any questions, give us a call at 860-278-4163. And remember to tune in tomorrow for our live discussion at 6.30 p.m. with a guest from Equity CT to talk about discrimination. Thanks for watching, and as always, be well and be yourself.